Q&A tab. How does the top link on a three link rear suspension work? Um, probably be good to uh, look into some of my resources on overall how does, how does forward drive work, how does acceleration forces work. But let's just break this one down um, uh, at a really low level uh, pretty quick here. So how does the top link work? Um, uh, when you accelerate, uh, the, the rear end wraps and the pinion goes up or, or the yoke goes up if it's quick change. Um, so it wants to, the rear wants to wrap around backwards. The top link is hooked from the top of the rear end traditionally, uh, from the top of the rear end back over to the chassis. And so what happens under acceleration it actually pulls on that top link. Now that's a really important uh, uh, force that's going on here because it's actually pulling the chassis into the trailing arms. Uh, the angle of that top link will affect uh, quite a few things, specifically it affects the acceleration curve. Um, watch that video to understand what we're talking about there. there. Um, uh, but positioning of the, of the top link can affect uh, dynamic bite. Um, it affects not only how the car gets off the corner, it also affects how the car gets in the corner as well. So top link's a pretty important thing. Um, uh, the positioning of it absolutely 100% affects the car. It's a lot of load in the top link depending on uh, the trailing arm position. So if you change the trailing arm positions, it actually changes the amount of load in the top link. Um, if you have a center pull uh, rear suspension um, or a birdcage rear suspension, that it, uh, puts a lot of different load in the top link versus say a traditional uh, three link uh, suspension with solid trailing arm mounts. Um, so lots of variables there, way too much to get into uh, in this video, but, but in essence uh, a top link is a pull bar um, that keeps the rear end from flipping over backwards in the car uh, when you accelerate it and from flipping over forwards in the car when you decelerate it.